All right, guys, we're jumping right back into it. Uh, looking at the architectural drawings for this project. Um, that is the Holabird, Olabird. I don't even know how to say it. I think it's Holabird Academy uh, there in the city of Baltimore. So last time we were, you know, just kind of uh, picking out some interesting things that I would look at as an estimator uh, on this job. So what I think I want to do on this particular video is look at an area like the restrooms here. I wanted to pull up, um, you know, look at this enlarged drawing. So that's what we want to look at an enlarged drawing today. This is A-5.5. We're going to look at detail A4 and there it is down there at the bottom. So looking at a couple of things, the construction of the interior of this restroom is um, a masonry. And we, we saw that in the last video that all of the masonry walls are identified with an A. And uh, the general notes on there told us that unless you see otherwise, just assume that um, all the CMU walls, all the masonry walls are this A2 type. And so we can also look at the uh, wall schedule if we want to go find the wall schedule and look at all the different wall types. So we, we noticed that it's all CMU walls and there's different thicknesses of these walls, right? So you can see that, you know, this is not the same size as, as, as that wall. And I would assume that maybe here we have four inch block, four inch CMU block right there. And then you have your typical eight inch CMU block here. Now, here's a question. Uh, why do they have this wall? Why do they have another wall that kind of separates um, it creates a space there uh, for you know the sink here and then all of these commodes there these commodes and urinals there um, and you may know this answer you know I'm not I, I don't want to make you know I don't want to I don't want to patronize my audience but so this is basically a space that's created so that the, when the plumbers can come in they can run all the plumbing that's running underground it can now run up vertically to make the connections on the other side of this wall. So here, same thing. You have the plumbing for the toilets, the sewer, all running through here. You also have uh, within the wall normally a clean out uh, so that if something gets stuck, you can clear out you know, what you need to um, and, and continue the flow of everything that happens in the restroom. All right, so uh, I want to do some digging here and see what's happening with this detail at, at, happening at the vestibule. So we're going to go to A5.3 um, and look at detail A17. This is um, the stair that we were zoomed in on, A17. This is right at the vestibule, as you can see, identified right there. And as you enter the stairwell, uh, you know, feel protected because this stairwell... And I don't think it, I don't know if it says anything on this drawing, but all stairwells are protected um, because they're supposed to be a safe place to go uh, for you to go in the case of a fire or something like that. So they are fire protected. Uh, that means that the CMU wall here has been sealed in a way that fire would have to burn there probably for two hours before it made a penetration through the wall space. And the same has to be said for the door here. It needs to be manufactured in a way that it's a certified door uh, that's certified for maybe it's 90 minutes or something like that. A couple of things to look at. There's your railing. There's a railing right here. You can see the railing. So as a estimator, I may be responsible for gathering uh, different proposals for companies uh, that are dealing with railing. That's going to fall under Division 5. So these rails... Um, may be included in those railings. Now, d depending on what kind of railing it is, if it's a, like a decorative railing or something that's supposed to look nice, that would come from a Division 5, uh, you know, decorative uh, railing sub. But sometimes your uh, railings could get quoted with your steel as well. So your steel manufacturer may provide your railings if they're very typical, kind of, you know, not needing to look fancy or anything like that but so you can see that this is starting to go up the stairs and then you have this this little um squiggly line with the you know little jagged 
edge little deal going on right there so what that basically means is you know you're gonna assume that this stair keeps going up in this direction but we're gonna you know just go over to the next now here also we have the section of stair six so now you can see it from a different angle so let's see like I said you're walking into this vestibule there's the door right there the door and you're walking up the stairs there's the railing like we saw and so this is showing that there's a landing a short landing right there as you reach the top of this wall this 11 foot wall there's a short landing and then you're going up a couple of more steps and then you're on the second floor now this wall right here where is this wall on this diagram is this wall right here okay so we can now identify that this wall drops out from the ceiling at this location and uh, we continue to go up till we get to the landing that's right there it's identified right there and oh this tells us the elevation now for the landing that the landing needs to be on okay and then we go up a couple of more steps and here we are so that's that's your typical stair plan sometimes they're typical they're uh, a little difficult to look at but um, that's where it counts to have a section up as well you know before we leave this section I just want to note that what you're seeing right here uh, in this space in this mechanical room this is all of the duct work uh, that's responsible for blowing the air around so this air is, is getting blown through uh, and in this case is going through the floor and is going out into this vestibule right at the stairs So this is probably blowing cool air or something like that right into the stairs a couple other things that you can see here is it says two hour rated ceiling number u or ul number u 438 so you can go and google ul number u 438 and see what that assembly looks like it's a two hour rated assembly remember i told you that once you step in the stairs you're protected and uh, i was right it's a two hour rated wall now it tells you that the ceiling height right here is uh nine foot ten uh, but the two hour rated ceiling is right above there that's at 10 foot six all right well that's about all I wanted to cover in this video looking at some enlarged plans and also uh, ended up looking at some stair drawings now so uh, next time you need to look at some stair drawings you will know what video to go watch and kind of brush up on your skills uh, but I appreciate everybody for sticking around make sure you're leaving comments uh, let me know if you have any questions or any insights we can just talk about construction um, let me know talk to you later